So how much is the price? Yeah, the different uh, different, different prices. prices yes, uh -huh. we have yeah uh, thirty five. Mm -hmm. We have lots of thirty. Thirty five million. That's yes. like ten thousand dollars. Yes. Then we have plots thirty of million. 30. That's like nine thousand. Yes. Then we have plots of plots of twenty five. Even twenty five. Yes. Guys, even twenty five million. Yes. Ah, interesting. Is that negotiable? Yeah. It's yeah. negotiable. Yes, uh, guys, guys, what else do you want? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Are here. Welcome back to my channel. Yet another exciting episode. So today it's going to be a real estate in Uganda. So it's a very, very beautiful a sunny day. The sun is out and bright. Although I'm wearing a sweater, I'm just feeling a little bit cold. But it's a very beautiful a sunny day. And I am in a certain a location. So I have had your complaints, guys. Eh? I always get complaints like, Hey Ray, you only advertise expensive properties. You only show us big mansions which are very expensive. You leave out the rest of us. We can't afford it. We all don't have 800 million shillings to buy a house in Chira or Naguru or wherever. So, guys... I had your request, so I want to bring you something a very, very affordable where everyone can, you know, buy something, where your money can get you something. So that's what we are going to do today. And of course, I'm already at location as you see, it's a nice, beautiful background. So to help me out with this video, I have a friend of mine here. I'm going to let him introduce himself and then we do that. We do the video. Hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Amon. Uh, and we are in Kira, Mulawa. Oh, oh this is Mulawa, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, Amon is a real estate agent. Uh, this is his thing. <laughs> I've known him for quite some time. So, to brief you guys, uh, this is uh, an estate for land where you can buy a piece of land. They are sectioned out. So, Amon, tell us. Mm. For this particular site, mm. I will portion it to 50 by 100. Mm. Yes. So plots are divided into 50 by, 100. 50 by 100. Yes. Okay, good. So give us an example. Where does 50 by 100 start and where does 50 by 100 end? Okay. Let starting, me flip the camera. Yeah. Starting so from this markstone here. This one here. Uh huh. Yes, up to the other markstone. Up to this, guys. This is a markstone. Eh? This this concrete thing. Eh? That's a markstone that he's talking about. So come from that one here all the way to this one. Eh? Yeah. So, so there is uh, another markstone here, guys. So that we are clear this is another max stone oh okay okay uh-huh so, so this is the second one uh-huh yeah, this is it. 50. so this is 50 meters eh? 50, so 50, 50, 50, 50, feet. 50 feet yes this is 50 feet then and then by a hundred all the way from, back eh? from this pole from this max stone here mm. up to the other max stone oh okay so let's let's walk there and see so guys uh, we are trying to show you the size of the plot so you've seen the 50 feet in the front so now we are going to show you the 100 feet so that the estate is divided into plots of 50 by 100, 50 by 100, 50 by 100, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so... Oh, okay, so this is the 100, eh? yeah. Oh, okay. Guys, I hope that is clear. Yes, yeah, so this is the... Max don't show the length. Yes. That was the width and this is the length, right? Yeah. yeah okay interesting guys yeah so that's how big the plot is 50 by 100 feet and that those are the measurements which they cut out so how many plots are in this estate so this is an estate yes yeah, this is an estate so how many plots are in here we are looking at about 30 30 plots 30 plots yes so those are 30 clients or yes. maybe even fewer clients if someone buys more than two yeah. plots eh? yeah and how many are available and how many are not available? So far five plots have been taken mm. and 25 are remaining. 25 are available. Yeah. So guys, you've heard that 25 of them are still available for my subscribers and viewers. Eh? <laughs> so what's the price? How much is a 50 by 100 plot? Yes, uh, for this particular site, we are mm. looking at 75 million for 50 by 100. 75 million Uganda shillings? Yes. Isn't that a little bit? It's you know? slightly negotiable. Slightly negotiable. Yeah. Guys, you've had the price, 75 million Uganda shillings. How many dollars is that? Some people just understand dollars. You, you bring your phone and you okay, see. I think that's about around 20,000. 20,000, yes. So 20,000 dollars for a piece, for a plot here. But guys, don't forget that this is Kira, by the way. Kira is slightly yes. expensive. And it's just a few, a few meters from one, the... Yeah, one, about 1.5 kilometers off the main off road. Off the main road, yeah. yeah. So when we are going back, guys, are also going to show the distance from here to the main road. But as you can tell, this neighborhood is just full of, you can it see its houses, eh? Pure, yeah, yeah, area. it's purely a residential area. 
purely purely a residential area if you see in the background purely purely a residential area obviously there is electricity you can see the connections for the wires and guys eh, it's it's very very beautiful out here like it's very fresh there is a very nice breeze it's good because eh, you're away from the chaos and all the noise <laughs> yes yeah, so i actually i personally like it by the way yeah thank i think you, I, yeah you. i like it so now i'm on the question is assume someone is interested right mm. they've reached out to me maybe you want to bring them here are you also going to help me like the process of getting the land and registering the title because yes. people are always scared like i'm going to get scammed how sure am i that this is legit no all these plots that we have talked about all the 30 plots mm. once you pay full amount you mm. go with your land title you get your oh is it private milo or yeah it's private private milo, milo. yes okay good good so guys private milo means that the land is yours forever and forever. ever and ever you can give it to your kids you can give it to your friend whoever you want the, the land is yours forever and ever and ever and then for foreigners non-ugandans and then you can and you can own land by lease yes yes go through a trustee uh -huh. yeah. so you explain that a little bit more because i also have land uganda as always ask me you know can we own property in uganda can we buy land in uganda through a trustee let's say let's assume a foreigner has married a uganda yes yes you can that's how they you can own land they you register trustee. a company and then no you trustee i mean let's say let's assume someone has married you mm -hmm. yes mm. and so they own the land through me through you oh. you being a trustee oh. Okay, interesting. And what if they don't have a spouse? If they don't have a spouse, then mm. you own it by lease. You own it by lease, which, eh? are which is 99 years. 99 years. Eh? Yeah. Okay, interesting. So, guys, I think you've heard that. If you don't have a Ugandan spouse, then or mm -hmm. girlfriend, <laughs> what if there is a business partner? Because then you can also own land if you yeah. both have a company, yes. and maybe like 51 percent of the shares is for a Ugandan. Yeah, sure. You can yeah. also do that, yeah. right? Yeah. Those are the options, guys, but we don't encourage you to get a trustee that you don't trust, you know, <laughs> or to make a company with someone that you don't trust. So you rather have the lease of 99 years, in my opinion, what do you think? Because leases are renewable. Yes. They renew them all day long at the, you know, at the land's office. Yeah, so. Yes. so guys, you've heard that. Uh, this is the site. And I see construction going on, Amon, in the background. What's what's going on there? What's taking place? Uh, we already have developers who are doing construction and they're mm -hmm. putting up residential houses. So are these individuals who have bought already or is it the... No, it's individuals who have bought. Oh, okay. So someone buys their 50 by 100 and they start constructing it already? Yeah? Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So the other question is, you say this is an estate. Mm. So when it's built out, are they going to live like in a gated community? Like what, what's the, what happens? What's oh, the, the, the arrangement comes with the people who have settled in the, in the estate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. They get to organize themselves. Mm. Do, they can also make a gated community there. If they want. Eh? Yes, but that's a collective effort. Oh, okay. For the people who have bought in the area. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for now, if you buy your land, you construct whatever you want to construct okay. in it. Yes. So if someone wants to buy like two plots, are they going to get a discount? Yeah, like I said in the start, it's negotiable. It's negotiable. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, take take note of that word, negotiable. Yeah? <laughs> So 75 million can be negotiated, can be reduced, that's what he's saying, you know. If you come as a serious client, he's ready to buy. Yes, yeah, so we actually tell us how many estates are we going to show them today? We are going to look at three estates. Three estates, yeah. and this is number one. Oh, yeah. So we are going to go to the second one, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or what you think about the video so far. Drop it. But uh, if you like this beautiful land here this is chira mulawa or kira mulawa that's the name of this area you can come and get a plot of land here and you know build a house you know or just keep it and keep saving until you're able to do something else you no know? because sometimes buying a house at once is very very expensive you don't have 400 million shillings to buy a house but you may have the 70 m to buy a piece of land maybe the question would be Sometimes people want to buy land in, sorry, want to pay in installments. Yes. Do you allow installments? Yes, we do. What's mm. the payment plan like? The payment plan for an installment is we allow 70% initial deposit. Mm -hmm. Then the other 30% mm. we give you three months to clear. Oh, wow. That's yeah. not flexible at all. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> It is because we also don't want us to tie our capital in. Oh, in. oh, you guys are businessmen, so yes. you finish selling this estate, you go to the next one, eh? Exactly, guys. You've heard that, eh? Amon is a business guy, so he says if you want a payment plan 70% initial deposit, 
right yes and then you pay the 30 percent in three months so that's the payment plan but i also think it's not too bad because this is not as expensive as maybe like what buying a house an apartment would be yeah. but it's also a very good location so personally i like it i may be one of your first clients wow thank you yeah i may be one of your first clients so guys uh let's go we are going to drive back maybe i'll show you a little bit along the road we'll go back to the main road and we take you to the second estate we want to show you three of them today so yeah a subscribe a like share and let's continue the video so guys i want to give you an idea on the size of the estate because we're sort of standing in one place so we're just going to drive so you sort of get an idea of how big the estate is so here we start driving it actually starts from a little bit behind right yeah yeah but uh oh this is the estate i hope it's clear for you guys quite a big you said it's like it was initially like six acres yeah six acres yeah so that so it's been six acres that have been subdivided into plots uh, so if you want you can get your own yeah guys it's very nice and green and beautiful out here so obviously if you're interested to buy i'll be leaving my contact for you guys so that you can just reach out to me and we'll come and give you a tour and then you can secure yourself a piece of land yeah oh so it goes all the way this side yeah, yeah. wow <laughs> guys this is still the estate by the way all the way the other side yeah so right now we are going to continue up because we are going to the main roads yeah so we said from the estate it's about 1.5 kilometers to the main yeah. but you know 1.5 kilometers is something small because i felt like the distance was not it's a short distance yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a short distance you know it was a short distance so yeah but of course you have neighbors it's not like you're alone eh? <laughs> there is some you know a banana plantation just to show how the neighborhood looks like and this is someone's home under construction yeah those are the locals they are sitting that's a jackfruit tree more bananas so this is the road guys leading up to the estate but right now we are heading back to the main road so i just wanted to show you guys so to get the feel of how the environment looks like so this is the environment people's homes you know so this is the environment guys this is the neighborhood this is how the neighborhood looks like and i'm going to show you guys all the way to the main road because i want you guys to get like a very very clear picture of how the place looks like so i'm going to take you guys all the way to the main road so that you know how this place looks like Here it's called Corner House. You can buy your groceries. There is some food. Rolex guy is also there. <laughs> some banana plantations. Oh, you said this. You actually said that it has two access routes, right? Yeah. So the one that we've come in through, plus yeah. this one here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. guys, there is another access route to the estate that we are coming from. Yeah, but uh, this is still the neighborhood. Just to show you guys how the environment looks like. So all oh, this is Kira, guys. This is Kira municipality. Kira is a municipality. Yeah. The last time I was doing a, a video and I called it a division, and someone corrected me like, no. Kira is a municipality, guys, eh? not a division. <laughs> but most people, most people would think it's a division in Kampala, but it's not actually, yeah. Because it's also very big. It's big. Banana plantation, guys. This is it's not exactly like a village but you still get like the vibe of like you know village feel village feel yeah, yeah. so guys eh, this is the place i want to show you guys all the way to the main road so that you see how the neighborhood is where you're going to be buying because it's, it's pretty much a residential area you know it's just a residential area yeah and don't forget that right now we're going to head to location number two that is in Aquero. He said it's in Aquero. Yeah. So we're going to go to Naquero after here. Naquero is just after Bulindo. From Kira, you go to Bulindo, then you go to Naquero, right? Yeah. Oh, there is Chuologoma in between. Yeah, there is Chuologoma, Chumwanyi, then, then all about, Yeah, then Naquero. Yeah. So, so actually, we are getting to the main road, right? Yeah. Yeah. There is this. So, this is the place. 
place this is the place where the first is to is I want you guys to have a very very clear picture in case you're interested in buying then this is the place here so we are back on the tarmac and then back on the main road so this is main road Kira coming from Tinda, Chiwatle, Nigeria, Kira. So this is the main road. Guys, you see this? So we are back on the main road. So that's the distance from the estate to the main road. So right now, we are going to take this route on the right and continue to Nakwero. Well, we're going to show you estate number two so guys if you enjoy the video so far make sure you give it a like give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed subscribe and yeah let's head to estate number two we are going to do three of them today so it's going to be quite a long video but make sure to watch the whole of it guys we are at location number two so amon you say this is naquero right yeah, this is naquero yeah this place this area is called naquero naquero is still wakiso district yes naquero but it's in gayaza it's in Gayaze eh? yes. and Wakiso, right? Yes. Yeah. Remember, guys, Kira is also in Wakiso. Sunakwero is also in Wakiso. Yeah. So this estate starts from all the way up where you see the houses, right? You said where you see the houses. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's starting from, and then it's going to go all the way down. Maybe we're just going to take a walk there. You can just walk like for two minutes, uh, very quickly all the way down so it's quite huge as well as huge as the other one mm -hmm. so how many plots are here have about 67 plots here 67 plots wow yeah. so that's even bigger than the other one yeah yes yeah, so how many are sold and how many are remaining we have sold about 40 you've sold 40 already yes, and about 27 are remaining 27 are remaining oh okay so 40 have been sold uh, that's what amon says and 27 are remaining so you can grab yourself one or two or three <laughs> whatever you like yeah so how much what's the price here yes here we are looking at 65 million per 50 by 100 65 million per 50 by 100 yes. wow guys 65 million so i see the cornerstones the mark stones sorry the ones you showed us earlier so we can take this as an example right yes. so yes, if from we this point from this from, mark stone, uh -huh. yeah, the mark stone is, this, 50, this is feet. The 50 feet yeah then from here mm you proceed a little bit then to 100 you, this is where the 100 is the length this looks very short eh? no, no, no. it's 100 you just did a center pole oh that's a center pole yeah i was going to say that looks really short you can get a, clear picture from this one. a picture from oh we can get a clear picture from. okay okay yeah i was going to say this 100 looks super close eh? okay <laughs> that's the center mark yeah so uh, let's show you guys another demo so, so from this point from this point here yeah this point that is the 50 that's 50 feet, feet yes from that point mm. to the other last pole oh to the other last pole eh? oh okay oh, oh yeah yeah so guys i think you can see that from this point right here all the way to the last one that is 100 feet yeah okay interesting uh, you still get uh, the same vibe guys are uh, very nice are uh, very green yeah these these areas are really cool eh? like I really wouldn't mind living here. Yeah. yeah. If everything I have is in my house, I don't want to be in the chaos and the noise of the town. That's me. I just want to be away and from and free from everyone. Yeah. So the hundred feet stops here. Yeah. So same measurements, fifty by hundred. So you get that, guys, for sixty-five million Uganda shillings. The question is, is the price negotiable? No, for this particular one, the price is, the price is fixed. Hold on. Yes. Why? It's an informed price, that's all I can like. So here, there is no discount? Yeah, yeah there is no discount. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you can also talk about the distance from the main road. Uh, it's about 50 meters off the tarmac. Yes, yeah, so as we, are, as we are driving back, guys, we're going to show you the distance to the main road, just like we did in Kira. So why is there no negotiation here? Like, why can't they get a discount? Can we get a discount just because they are my viewers or subscribers, if someone wants to buy? <laughs> well, I can say for this particular site, mm. it's a fixed price. It's an informed price. Once we set, let's mm. say, 
65. Is it because it's almost sold out? Exactly. Oh, okay. Yes. I understand that. Yeah. Mm. That usually happens in real estate. So when you find when an apartment is already built, you will never get a discount most of the times. So is there a payment plan? Yes. There's a same, same payment plan. Same payment plan. 70% initial deposit. Mm. Then 30% we give you three months. Oh, okay. Yes. Same, same payment plan, guys. 70% initial deposit, then 30% in three months. Okay. Yes. So... This is the place guys, this is Nakwero and still a residential neighborhood. See some bananas, there is someone with cattle over there, I don't know if you can see him. There's a guy with cattle. Residential yeah, residential area, just people's houses, people's houses over there. It's just a residential area guys. Yeah, so right now, where are we going after here? The third estate. I've gone to show them the third estate. The third estate is in Chuenda. Chuenda. Yeah. You said that's on Gayaza Road? No, we're on, this is Gayaza oh, Road. Mm -hmm. But then we're going on Gayaza Zerobe Road now. Oh, back the other side. Eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is... Yeah, so guys, as we are going back to the main road, I'm going to show you the distance. I'm also going to sort of show you the size of the estate, but it's quite long. Because eh? it goes all the way up to those banana plantations that you see. And then all the way up, up to those houses eh, that you saw earlier. That's the size of the estate. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Something? I was saying all the way to the other house. Oh, all the way to that house under construction. Eh? Yeah. Oh, it's still the same estate. Oh, yeah. okay. That's quite big. Yeah. All the way to the other house. Wow. Interesting. So the question is... Some people will be like, where does the road pass, the access routes, things like that? Well, the access routes are already well demarcated. Mm. So this one, for example, the one that you came in? Mm. Oh, okay. And then, so this is an access route as well where we are standing, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's understood, yeah. So guys, I think you can see that the access routes, when, you're, when they are selling such land, it's like planned in. It's incorporated in, you know, so you don't have to worry that I'm going to buy my plot and then they cut off a road. <laughs> no, that's already compensated into it as well. Yeah, so guys, uh, you've had a look, a beautiful environment, a very green. Yeah, Uganda is so green, guys. A lot of fresh air, no noise, uh, no chaos. Pardon? With also a beautiful landscape. Yeah, it's very beautiful. It's a beautiful landscape, yeah. Yeah, so guys, uh, let's go. And we we'll take you to location number three, but we'll show you the distance to the main road as we are heading out. This is very, very close. Say 500 meters? 50 meters. 50 meters. Yes, yeah, so this is 50 meters to the main road here. You can see this is still the plot actually. You can see all these the landmarks that we showed you earlier. So that meaning the estate starts from this electric pole, yeah. right? Yeah. From this electric pole here oh okay yeah so guys let's drive to the main road it's very close it's right on the main road actually this is right on the main road so the question is when you buy in here Mm. Are the residents that want to work on the road to make it tarmac? Yes. That's upon them. Yeah. Because you know sometimes when you do this, uh, like these roads need them to be tarmac. It's not like a bad road, but to do better with some tarmac. Mm. Yeah. So we are back on the main road, guys. This is Mukono Kalaji Road. Eh? But this road also goes to Jinja, right? Yes. Yeah. So guys, this road will take you all the way to Mukono Town and then Jinja. Yeah, so if you're ever going to Jinja, if you're going to Kenya, if you're going to Eastern Uganda, this is the road. This is the road to use. I actually use this road almost every day when I'm going to Mukono. <laughs> I use it a lot. Yeah, so right now we're going to go to Chiwenda, right? Yes. Still on Gayaza Road. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, let's go to the third estate, guys, and uh, let's see you when we are there. So, guys, we are on estate number three, Amon, right? Yes. Yes, yeah, so uh, this is the place. This is how it looks like. But I see mango trees. <laughs> the mango trees, we are, we are removing them. You're removing them? Yeah. You don't want farming. You don't want people to eat mangoes. No, no, no. Hmm? Now it's a residential area. <laughs> <laughs> so, mango garden turned into a residential area. Is that what you're saying? Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, so uh, guys, you can see the cornerstones. They are all Max stones. I, I keep calling them cornerstones. <laughs> the word like cornerstone in the Bible, I don't remember. Oh, it's that hill song. You know that hill song? Corn Jesus, the cornerstone. Yeah. Uh, there's a song by Hill Song, guys. It's called maybe Jesus, the cornerstone, something like that. But the Max stones are there. Eh? There is uh, this one here. So, yeah, so they are still 50 by 100. Eh? Yes. So the estate is quite big. So how many plots are in here in this estate? Yeah, we have over 100 plots. Oh really? Yeah. Over 100 plots. Eh? Yes. Wow, that's quite big. Mm. So this is the beginning point, guys. We've actually packed ahead, and we're going to show you the whole estate. It's very, very huge. So how many have you sold so far? How many are remaining? The site is still fresh. The site is still fresh. Yeah. So this is the fresh site. Eh? Yes. Okay. Interesting, guys. So this is a fresh site, and we forgot to mention the location, by the way. The location is yeah. Chuenda. So this is Chuenda. Gayaza Chuenda. Gayaza Chuenda yes. in Wakiso district. Eh? Yes. Yeah, guys. So this is Gayaza Chuenda in Wakiso. So yeah, uh, let me see if I can walk maybe closer to the mangoes. I love mangoes, so I'm a little bit hurt that all the mango trees are going to be taken down. Eh? I see some have already been taken down. So this is firewood. When yeah. you take them down, people get firewood, I think. So I saw someone who asked me for a village video the other day on my channel, like, hey Ray, post for us some village videos. I think this is like a village vibe, eh? <laughs> This is like village life vibe. Yeah, but, uh, so this is the environment, guys. It's very green, very beautiful, but, so let me ask, if someone buys a plot and the mangoes are there, mm. and they don't want their mangoes to be taken down, I think you can just retain their mangoes, right? Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, so guys, eh, in case you want to buy one of these plots, it comes with mangoes. <laughs> yeah, if you're interested in buying a plot that comes with mangoes, what's the price? Come on. Right, you're just selling a plot, whether they are mangoes, the mangoes or, or not. Yes. But if someone is an alibi, they're like, hey, I want the one with mangoes. Yes. You'll get like a bonus. Eh? Yes. You retain the mangoes. <laughs> yes. eh? So, how much is the price? Yeah, they're different. Uh, different, different prices, prices yes. Uh -huh. We have yeah, 35, mm -hmm. we have plots of 30. 35 million, that's yes. like $10,000. Yes, then we have plots 30 of 30. million, that's like 9000 Yes, then we have plots of, plots of 25. Even 25? Yes. Guys, even 25 million? Yes. Ah, interesting, eh? guys. So, there is many options, 35. So, what's the difference? The difference also depends on... The like closeness this, to the... Uh, the closeness to, to the, the main road. Oh, okay. And also the... the the location. The location, eh? Yes. Because it's the, big, the eh? scape where they are. Oh, the scape yes, where they those are. Ones are sl a slanting oh, those ones are slanting going yes, down. Where the 25s oh. are. So where we are standing is like the 30 and the 35. The 30 and the 35. Because the main road is just there. Yes. So as we drive ahead, guys, we shall drive and show you the whole estate. The price goes reducing. Eh? Yes. So the lowest is 20 or 25? 25. The lowest is 25. Eh? Yes. So guys, that's the range. 35 and 25. Is that negotiable? Yeah, it's negotiable. Yes, uh, guys, guys, what else do you want? Honestly, <laughs> oh, so it's a fresh site, so they can get a, a better deal, yes. guys. I think you heard that, eh? yeah. But uh, once again, it's very green and very beautiful out here, yeah. Ah, there is a mango. So, am I allowed to like take this mango there? Yeah, I can pick one, eh? yeah. guys. I can just pick a mango and go with it. <laughs> There's a big mango up here, but it's still green, eh? it's not ready, it's still green. Yeah, so guys, I think you've seen the location, this is called Chuenda Gayaza, and this is Wakiso district. Eh? Guys, Kampala is very small, and the whole of Kampala is like sold out, so we just have to like keep encroaching on Wakiso. Wakiso should just give some of these areas back to Kampala, because I feel like Kampala is very tiny, you know, yeah. But uh, guys, uh, this is the place. So we are going to walk towards where we've parked and then we shall drive to show you guys the whole estate. I think there are the same measurements, right? 50 yes. by 100, eh? Yeah, okay. portion into 50 by 100. Pardon? All the plots are portioned into 50 by yeah, 100. Yeah, so all the plots are portioned into 50 by 100. Eh? Yeah. So this is a residential area. You can see there is someone's home right there in the background. This is also quiet, eh? Yeah. Just like the fact that it's very, very quiet, you know? No noise, no nothing. Just quiet. So the fact that here you get a good price, it means if I come in Chuenda, 
I can get three plots. One plot in Kira was 75, right? Yes. So here I can get three plots in one, guys. <laughs> Depending on the price, on the place where you take. Yeah, yeah. If, if I getting, want, if you're taking for thirty, those are two plots. If I'm taking for twenty-five, yeah, those are three plots. Those are three plots, and I will just put my garden. You know, I will probably just put my garden. So, yeah, guys, this is the location. So, what's that tractor doing? It was doing the leveling. Eh, hey, you level the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, yeah, because I see this is all leveled, eh? yes. so it was doing that work. Eh? Yes. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, so, guys, uh, the mango trees are right there where we are coming from. So, we just want to like drive ahead so that we can show you the size of the estates. So, you sort of have an idea. Yeah, as long as you're seeing the map stones, then you know this is the estate. Eh? So, we're just going to drive all the way down where you see those trees, eucalyptus trees. Yeah. Um, it's very very nice out here there is a lot of fresh air there is a nice breeze mm? oh this is the access road eh? mm. yeah so that's the access road guys yeah you can see they are all marked very well yes so just want to give you guys a drive tour or a tour drive <laughs> whatever you may call it here yeah. and then that's the other side that's how it looks like there is actually a neighbor. Oh, okay. So here we'll go inside the estate. And so this is the access road. Eh? Oh, okay. So here we've gone on the inside. It's quite big. Eh? So, how many acres were here initially before you guys divided them? These were about, about, about 50. 50. Oh, that's quite big. It's quite, quite big. Quite big. So all these are access roads where we are passing, mm -hmm. access road of the estate. Mm -hmm. So guys, you see the, the estate, nice and fresh. So which, which plots are for 25 million? Mm -hmm. down. Starting from here, going down 25 mm? Eh? Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. So guys, starting from here, going down 25 million shillings. You get yourself a plot of land. Eh? yourself a plot of land so the estate goes all the way down to where you see like are those sugar canes yes oh okay <laughs> see sugar canes in the background and eucalyptus trees yeah uh, guys uh, let me know what you think so far i'll leave a comment but uh this is the third location right yes. yeah so from here we're going to head back to town or to kampala yeah. And how many how many kilometers from here to Kampala? To oh, no, no. So this is twenty-five kilometers from here to Kampala. Okay. Which is not too far by now. Twenty-five kilometers from here to Kampala City. So we shall show you as we drive back. So what are those guys doing? There's some guys there. What are they doing? Uh, they're just doing their own these are like locals, eh? Mm. Oh okay. Yeah, so guys here this is where the estate stops and these are plots of 25 m eh? yeah oh okay so these are 25 m yeah you can see some people in the background and is that a school like yeah. that building no that's poultry that's what someone is doing poultry farming oh that's a poultry farm yeah. if you guys saw that green roof or blue roof it's a poultry farm so i was trying to ask him that's a, what that is yeah, so guys, uh, this is called Chuenda Gayaza. You've seen the location, you've seen the plots. The range is 35m and 25m. That's the range. Yes, yeah, so the ones on the main road where you saw the mango trees, those are 35, and then the ones this side, those are 25. But just like Amon said, prices are negotiable. So when you come to office, then we can negotiate, all right? Yes. Can give them a good price, a discount, eh? yeah. especially if they say they came from my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, I'm going to leave you my contact. If you're interested, you send me a WhatsApp or you give me a call, and then Amon and I will bring you for a tour, right? Yes, sure. yeah, we will bring you for a tour. Actually, these are not the only estates, that's what you've told me. Yes. 
so they have many more estates guys eh? i'm going to put something like here maybe like a flyer or something to show the rest of the locations they have you also said you have plots that are more affordable yes 15 million 18 15 million 18 million 19. and where are those located 20 million yeah, we're looking at mukono mukono yeah. mukono eh? Okay, yeah. so guys, if you're okay going to Mukono, you can get plots even at 15 million, 20 million. You can still get, yeah. So, you just have to tell us uh, what you want, guys. I'll show you the distance to the main road. So, uh, this is where the estate starts. As you see, the mango trees and the mark stones. So, from here, you said it's about 500 meters, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, this is the route. Obviously, it's a residential area. I see people's homes. There's a, so where does this route continue to go on behind us? To the villages. In to there. the villages. Eh? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so now we are going to the main road, guys. It's about 500 meters, but I want to show you the drive so that you know. Yeah. Uh, village life looks really cool. It's very nice and green. Yeah. The stomach is actually small. Eh? The marrow. <laughs> Sorry, the marrow is small. So if you continue this side guys, you'll find yourself in the Lowera districts. Of course we have some food, fresh fruits by the roadside as usual. Mangoes, uh, onions, tomatoes by the road. So we're going to drive back and head back to Kampala, the route that will take us to Kampala. So Amon, uh, you told me that on our way back there is actually another site that you wouldn't yeah. mind passing by since we're already going to be using the same route okay. so guys we're going to show you a bonus estate once again there are quite many it's on our way back so let's see you when you get there because you said why not check it out since we are using the same route anyway so we're going to show you that as well so this is chowenda town this is like the main town or main trading center of chowenda yeah so I think this is like on a town council level, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is Chiwenda Town Council. Yeah. Right where we were. It's like a few meters from where we were. Location number four, guys, the bonus location. We are actually almost there, so. Yeah, the estate starts from here. Eh, the estate starts from here. Eh? Yeah. Also, the estate starts from here, but you said this is like built out, eh? Uh, there's still some plots remaining. How many? About six. So this has six plots remaining, right? Yeah. And initially, there were how many? Initially, there were about 20. 20, eh? Mm. So 14 are already sold, eh? Yes. So I see a house here. Mm two houses at this part of the estate yes someone bought, bought and, and constructed yes. oh, okay understood they actually built houses for sale oh they are for, they are sale, for sale yeah okay interesting mm. yes yeah, so someone bought within the estate and then they put these houses that you see here guys for sale that's what i'm going to say yes yeah, so 
we just thought this is called Busukuma, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is on our way from Chiwenda. We have we've driven not even ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we've not even driven ten minutes, guys, and we're already here. This is the place. This is called Busukuma. <laughs> guys, eh? those guys are making noise. They're rice farmers. They're chasing away birds. You know how they chase all birds from a rice yeah. garden? Yeah, you have to like keep screaming or something. Yeah. So I see a map stone here. Yes. So that's still 50 by 100, right? Yes. Okay, interesting. So these ones are how much? These ones go for 40 million. 40 million? Yes. Negotiable or? Yeah, it's a fixed price. It's a fixed price because they're almost sold out. Yes. Okay. So it's straight as well out to the other house. Oh, so it goes all the way to the other house. Yeah. So it also sold to the person in the... No, I don't know. Well, oh, that's a neighbor, eh? Mm. I was already there, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so guys, this is Wusukuma. And you can get yourself a plot here at 40 million shillings. That's slightly over $10,000, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe like 11000 it's also super close to the main road. If you guys are very observant, you can see cars in the background. It's really close actually. It's a few meters to the main road. Yeah. So we just wanted to show you guys this as well. Since it's on our way back, we thought let's stop over here and show it to you. And of course, if you are interested, you can just send me a WhatsApp or give me a phone call. Yeah, then we can bring and show you guys and show you. I think this is the last one, right? For the day. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be the last stop for the day, guys. Uh, yeah, I think I can actually end the video here. Subscribe, like, share. Amon, do you have like any final words maybe that you want to say? <laughs> I, would urge, I would urge each and everyone to come and buy this legit plots from us. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so guys, come and buy. Yeah, we'll help you out to get your plot of land. So I want to show you the distance to the main road guys, it's super close, like how many meters? 400 meters. Yeah, like 400 meters, so yeah, super super close. It's also a residential area, you can see it's just like people's homes. Banana plantation. Then you said right ahead there is also my sub county offices, right? Yes. Sub county headquarters. Yes. So this is still working so. Yes. So it's big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are going to the main road, guys. less than two minute drive guys because the camera is counting the time can be able to tell yeah so we are back on the main road and yeah so that's where we came from earlier when we we're in Chuenda and uh, we're going back to Kampala here yeah, we're going back to Kampala yes uh, I thank you guys for watching I know I finished the video already but uh, yeah whatsapp me or send me a message if you're interested and uh, if you like such kind of content uh, let me know as well and we can give you more tours of land that is available for